You know, no, no matter how many times I, I press this, press this button, I still actually can't tell what's going on. Uh, it's a problem. Let's just get a driver's pillow in here or something. Okay. So you're, you're wrong. I think you're wrong. Okay. So, now they're on full... Okay, n now that one's good. Now let's get the second set. Let's do it in, uh, 90s. This paces it out a little bit and gives me some room to animate some other things in here. Okay, so 90, 90, 90, 90. This is going to be a mess. Okay, going from here. So 90. Alright. So we already know... This one's wrong. Should probably speed this up a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so you're also wrong. We'll have to have an invisible seat on here, probably, but that's okay. I, this is mostly just kind of a fun idea. <laughs> Even if it works really weirdly. Okay. So next up... Uh, we want to have... All of these go 90. Oh, but we don't want to have them go 90 until the th probably the third tick. Okay. Let's see if this works properly. Okay, for starters, you're going the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Also, it's not these that go 90, but that's okay. All of them extend out anyway cuz we're going to need it. we're going to need it. These go 90 on the third tick. Okay. So clamshells pretty well together. You're going wrong. You're going wrong. Nice part is whenever anything breaks here, we kinda can figure it out. We might actually have the tires. These are the tires, right? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have them start on the second tick instead. That will probably make this a bit better. Okay, here we go. It kind of sumos itself. I dig that. Uh-oh. Huh. Is this one just not? It's supposed to. It's supposed to rotate 90. 
Okay. But it's not for some reason, and I can't tell you why. Okay, so that rotates. They're all supposed to rotate inwards. Maybe it's just stuck and I have to reset it. Okay, let's let's see if this works. It's so weird. Okay, well for starters, oh. Well, there it's going. The right way. It's just not supposed to do it like that. Maybe I welded it wrong? I have no idea. Okay. No, we've got to go. Th we've got to go thirty in the. Or we've got to go ninety in the third round. No ifs, ands, or buts, otherwise the tires start like getting really screwy with each other. Alright, let's um... Let's have all of these go 45 in the second round, probably. I should probably have them on separate switches, but, I don't know, whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay. Honestly, it might actually be best if I had the tires unfurl last, because they're kind of the, the biggest issue. Okay, uh, so these are the tires, yes? Oh, one of these is going too far. Well, that's a problem. in and of itself. That might explain some of these issues I'm running into, but that's okay. Because surprisingly, the tires are not actually in the way of anything. Or are they? I have no idea. Okay. It's still transforming. Alright, let's fix some of these rotations. I think that'll actually put us in a good spot here, yes? I mean, we're still awkward, but it works. Okay, there we go. So now that we're here, we can finally get this sucker attached. All this just to get this welded on. And it welds on wrong. Okay, so we have to we're supposed to have something like that. I guess I'll just put the bearing on. Let's see if I can get uh another car flip. There we go. I'm just going to I'm just going to cut off the basics. There we go. Let's see if we can just weld it on with the bearing. Okay, there we go. And... Shit. All 
All right. That was. This was. This is all wrong. It apparently keeps its rotation somehow. Well, this is a giant mess. Um. Jeez. I actually don't know what to do. Alright, let's 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 cut everything off again. Let's see if I can just weld it on as is. With only the bearings here. It's probably not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. Alright. This is a mess that I don't like living in, in the slightest. Let's see if I can... This might actually work. If I cut off all but the... Why not? Why not? Let's try let's just try summoning a new one. Maybe that'll do it. I really do not know what's going wrong with this thing, apart from the fact that it is supremely uncooperative. I mean worst comes to worst, I just build the entire section around it here. But that's like super low on my list. But considering everything else has failed spectacularly, it looks like I don't have a choice. Well that sucks. I really don't want to do this. Because this is time consuming. Alright, fine. Let's cut, ev let's cut off everything. Let's cut off the whole top layer. It'll be easiest if I can somehow get this to work. Just, just weld on. Damn it. What kind of block are we looking at here anyway? Maybe I'm just gonna cut off everything but the the base block. Don't question it. Yeah, there's something there's something not okay about this entire section. Alright. I I don't have an answer, but I guess I'm going to have to build it the incredibly slow way, which sucks. Okay, at least at least it it uh, the proper rotation worked right off the bat. This would have been way way worse without. Okay, there we go. Let's get some ramps up in here. I don't get this game sometimes. I don't get this game a lot, honestly. I really hope the new engine fixes this kind of stuff, and also includes these kinds of blocks. Because I'm not exactly in the mood for waiting for uh, Durf and Company to make... Uh, uh, to port these over. I mean, I am. Durf, Durf, MJM, and Grego have made wonderful things here. It's just one of those where I'm an impatient person and would very much like to, once I transition over to the new engine, I'd like everything to just work. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. Well, so far so good. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, some of the rotations here aren't good. And I have to wait until... There we go. I have to get, uh... The appropriate block on, otherwise it won't... It just doesn't want to work. Because the rotation doesn't include all of the rotations here. Which means I've... I need this. Wait. 
That was perfect. Okay, luckily once we've got it hooked on, then it's not a problem. But it's still inconvenient at the time. Okay. I think I need, like, another one right there. Could be wrong. Nope. You're angled wrong. You're angled good. That last one needs to be right here. Okay, there we go. Well. At long last... We finally have the lower section on this, and I guess I'm committed to the design just because I really don't want to have to go go through with this again. I mean, luckily it's not so bad. I wish I'd used invisible bearings, admittedly, but whatever, we'll be okay. Alright, and so the last thing we need is a handful of pipes right here with the wheel on top. Okay, finally. Looks like we're good, looks like we're good. Okay. Four. Okay. 90 in the last quarter. 180 over here. Okay, and we should be good to go. Alright, because it's perfectly balanced, so far doesn't work like shit. Alright, I might have to have it do the uh, 45 degree angles better. We need to have these tires unfurled properly. Yeah, we need to have it go like this. Okay, so this has problems. For starters, the uh, the 45s pretty much are gonna have to wait to the very end, because we are having we are having mad issues having this thing fold out. Maybe if I have it do the first first set of 45s and then it splits apart the rest of the way at the very end. That could work. Well, I'll just have it work like this for the time being. Because it does that. Minimal issues. This is where the issues happen. Okay. Well, and during this last section, then we have it go 45s here, probably. Okay. Let's have it start unfolding. We might have to rethink the tires here. Weird part is it folds back together really well. It's just the uh, the unfolding part that's particularly unfriendly. Oh, wait, no, it seems to have fixed itself somehow. Huh. It also seems to have never. Oh, there it goes. All right, so assuming I strap an engine to this thing, it will drive. Not very well, but it'll drive. And then we have like a whole other section to this thing directly above that I'm gonna have to figure out. It's gonna have to lift off a little bit. Maybe it'll even like split in half or something. 
Because the problem is, looking at this now, um... Looking at this now, this thing is going to be wildly, um, unbalanced. I could have it, like, unfold in a completely different way, but... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we have Prabble. <laughs> okay. Uh, these, these, okay. Yeah, it, un it unfolded really nicely last time. But this time around, it was not so friendly. All right, let's try speeding it up, see if, see if some extra speed works. If extra speed doesn't work, then, um, honestly, I could always just write this whole thing off as a complete and utter failure and then try again next time with maybe a little bit more, uh, a little bit less stupid. Well, speed seems to unfuckle it. It... Yeah, it's just that last section that's the worst. You'd think it would undo itself, but it doesn't. It... <laughs> Don't question. All right. I don't, I don't know. I'll I'll keep working on it. I'll I'll think about what to do with the other side and other things. <laughs> I keep calling it the ball ball Carl. God damn it! It's my name. It's a problem. I'm wearing it out. We also probably need to delete some of these things because they're causing the game to lag. Whole thing causes the game to lag, actually. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to bust this thing out in multiplayer, which kind of sucks. Well, getting rid of all of this crap is... I didn't mean to save it. All right, let's delete this. All right. There we go. Okay. This should work. A fair bit better. What else do we get around here? Not much. I think I think I've clearly deleted everything. So yeah, we'll have to figure out how to get the uh the top part of this on without wildly destructuring the whole thing. I don't know how that's gonna go. Maybe it'll be something like Oh wait, no, there's a There's a lot more room on this thing than I thought. Oh. Oh no. Well, I'm not gonna have them attached. We're gonna have to have this attached to the top. The top might unfurl in some other odd way. Yeah, I think I'll keep working on this. This is a nice challenge, even if it's a bit odd. Okay, so we've got this monstrosity kind of put together. I put some ultra heavies on so this thing would uh, function. I, <sighs> hmm. You know, looking at this thing now, I actually really wish I had, uh... Shit, that would work better. Alright, fine. I hate myself for doing this. Let's figure out where these parts are. I'm pretty much gonna cut everything up that we did. Uh, just now? Here we are. I guess we've got a couple of these. Okay. So... In reality, I made this too complicated, so I'm going to cut it up. Oh, this is some serious lag biz. Oh, luckily that was, that was the one that was making everything awful. Never mind, it's still awful. Okay, so the biggest problem here is we really just want to have this entire car split up into four parts, period. And instead of either five or eight or something like that. Crap, I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, luckily I've already got the piece on the bar. I really shouldn't, done, shouldn't have done any of this. All right, whatever. Let's just start deleting everything. And 
I'm I'm gonna say start over, but uh, we're not starting over. We're just we're starting mostly over. I'm dumb. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that one over there. All right, so we've got these pieces. Clamshell one quarter. I'm gonna dupe it. Uh, right. We need we need two, and we need a weld. So here's the thing that I did wrong. I mean. Technically nothing. I didn't necessarily do anything wrong. Uh I just wasn't thinking. That's the that's the biggest problem here. I guess this really is the clamshell one quarter. Alright, so we got four uh we're gonna wanna have four of these. So we're gonna have these two. So The way this thing works, uh, drives, it'll be two of these welded together. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't kind of, I kind of don't want to weld them together until I have the design down better. Well, considering I've got this thing saved already, let's just, let's just make the whole clamshell and look at it. I feel, I feel dumb. This is going to be my next, um, uh, scrap trap, and I'm not even proud of this thing yet. I don't have anything to be proud of. Yeah, originally what I wanted the whole thing to do is kind of like spread out on the beginning and have like kind of a turtle top. The problem is the turtle top makes it really, really unheavy. Um, and that's not a good thing. Also, I just remembered, I need to turn down the, the game volume for this permanently. It's impossible to balance as it currently is. So I'll drop it by 50%. Maybe I can actually have the music be more audible without the game being deafening. Anyway, um... But yeah, originally I wanted to have it split apart on the bottom, like that one over there. The problem is, that one, uh, if I did have the top on this thing, it would just sit there. Maybe it would lift up. That's kind of a bad. That's a bad idea. So let's not do that. Um, here, I'm going to quickly put it on lifts to negate as much lag as possible. We also spent way too much time trying to get that one section attached. Which I'm not happy about either. And ultimately, it just... It didn't look good. Driving. So I'm just gonna put these there. There we go. With the unfolding. Okay. So let's... Get a half. Let's figure out where we want to get the wheels. So unfortunately, the, um... The worst part about this is if we do want it to drive... We're gonna have four of these parts... I'm just gonna use my hands, you guys can't see it. We have four of these parts, each can technically expand out of a central location. But what do the what do they all do? That's the problem. The, the top two are the hardest part because there's really not much you can do with them. I could have it like rotate around. I could actually if I'm doing it this way, I could actually have them be No, I can't have them be odd, because if they are splitting down the middle, it would end up being more coconut shape. Which really makes me want to play Don't Starve again. I should play Don't Starve again. That game's fun. Um, okay, so scratching that, we can have these kind of scoot out and then rotate and flip over and have uh, bigger wheels like here that kind of roll into position. And that could work. It would be a bit messy. Because ultimately, I'm just making the Mega Ball here, aren't I? I'm just making the Mega Ball here. Oh, that's okay. Uh, it's an idea for a specific fighting car. The other option is we just give up on the idea of making this... Entirely. <laughs> and just give up. No, I don't want to do that. Alright, let's, let's, let's commit to at least the most basic of ideas. So, these are going to expand... Outward, probably. So, obviously, I can't have the wheels there necessarily. Here and there. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to look a little goofy when it actually rolls. I'd prefer to have the tires closer to, like, out here. But getting to them, getting them to properly unfurl all the way out this far would be a little. That'd be, that'd be hard. 
Uh, so let's give up on that idea and just have something that kind of expands them down. Because all my other options are super limited here. And then we'll figure out how to get this thing to attach next. Um, so we want something that puts them here. But normally they're like up here. But maybe up a bit. I guess that's actually quite easy to accomplish. We just put these pieces here, and we'll be, I think, good to go. I, uh, yeah, this, this thing is going to take more than a couple episodes to finish, isn't it? I don't like taking a long time on these, these, like, personal builds, but at this point, I'm just messing around, because I really do want to work on transform, transforming vehicles. Honestly, actually, the thing I want to do most is BattleBots again. We haven't done BattleBots in a while, and even more so than that, we have never done remote-controlled BattleBots. Okay. So, it's mostly perfect. Um, let's make it 75. We, we don't want this thing to be sticking up too much. Okay, there we go. So, it's out... Hell, I could probably just make it 60. Okay. Uh, so biggest problem is the pipes are going the wrong way. The The tires are good. They have very low profile and this thing can go along the ground. But the biggest problem is the the pipes are... are going to... Um, the, the pipes are also going to run along the ground, so we don't want to do that. Okay, now I should probably I should probably uh, reference this, and I've said this like numerous times, uh, but apparently it needs restating every time I I play solo, um, I uh, because I always get this comment, I'm not playing solo because I want to play solo, I like this game I like this game a lot, but the reason why I'm playing solo, isn't because I, uh, you know I'm I. Uh, isn't because I don't want to play with my friends. It's because I literally can't. Uh, the reason why I'm playing this right now is because the guys are not around right now and won't be around until Sunday. And I, I've, uh, I, I would love for nothing more than to just play with my friends all the time. I've always been jealous of, you know, YouTubers like Assy Mexican and company who can just play with their friends all the time and have that be what their channel is. Um, sadly, I'm not one of those YouTubers and pretty much never will be. Uh, as... As... I guess sad as that is? I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe I'll get to the point where I can just play multiplayer stuff whenever I want. Um, but that's like... That's really hard to do. Uh, scheduling is a thing. People have lives. Uh, a lot of those big YouTubers are only YouTubers. Um... And, uh, and they, uh, they don't have to worry about conflicting schedules with people who have jobs, or parents, or lives, or school, or stuff. And so for me and my group, like, Bird's still a student. Admittedly, within, within a month, he's going to be a full-time worker at Amazon, which may either give him a lot of free time or totally kill any chance of, uh, me ever playing with him again. Uh, Batbeard is a full YouTube full-time wannabe. I, I say wannabe not because he he's like a, a poser or anything like that, but because he wants to be a full-time YouTuber. But, you know, as it stands, he, he you know, simply isn't there yet. Uh, I went full-time more or less where he is now, and I was poor as dirt and lived with my parents for a while and pretty much couldn't pay any bills. Luckily, I didn't have any to pay, but still. All right, uh... But my my point is like uh, you know, he Batbeard and like Purple Phantom are probably the only two guys from my entire crew that really would come close to being 
like, available all the time. I guess Effie is too, but I know he's taking care of his sick mother, I think, most of the time. So it's one of those where I try not to demand much of any of these guys. And they might be more available more often, but it's also one of those where Scrap Mechanic um, is... I'm not going to say, like, our least favorite game ever, because it's not. Uh, I enjoy it. I think all of the guys re really do enjoy playing it with me and stuff. It's just, it's hard to play this game specifically. Um, for equivalents of four hours a week, if not more. I've definitely increased the amount of... Uh... What? Why is it not? I'm gonna try putting on the lift. Feels like it got screwed up somehow. I'm not entirely sure why. It goes the other way. Why? Huh. It's not supposed to rotate that way. But it did anyway. Okay. And then these two are out, and the tires are down. So realistically, this would work. Um, the only problem with this design is that it would be very, very heavy. Uh, it would be very top-heavy. Because effectively, I'd have this like big open area. You know, this would be the midline. Generally, nothing's going to fit underneath this, because this is going to be uh, empty space. And that's that. Okay. So I, I like where this is going. But I think I need to take this a step or several further. And we'll go from there. Okay, so for starters, dig this. I think let's I think let's take this uh those several steps further. So what I'm gonna do is please fit. Okay, it will. That's good. Okay, so what this is going to do is I'm going to have the central structure here. This is going to un unfold, but it's going to give us some extra room. Um, so let's let's hook it all up. Um, let's just get some regular light blocks here. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with the top parts, but I think this is going to work a hell of a lot better. Okay, let's take these off of 60, because we don't want them to be like that. I'm going to set them as 60, because they're going to be the very end of the transformation. No matter what. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Uh, I guess I'll delete this. Because literally everything past this point is going to be superstructure above or below, kind of depending. Because we literally can't spare any more space, unless I want to make this wider, which I could. Uh, but that's that's inherently risky. I wonder if I can move the tires out at all. Like one more, get a space in between. Interesting, risky. And the thing is, no. If I did have this moved down, I don't think it would work. Let's put a switch here. Find out. Oh, switch is not connected to anything. All right. So that extends out. What do these do? Crap. Okay. I want to see this again. It does bump. So we could actually get the, the tires out a little bit more. Uh, I, I can't have them out this much. But I can have them out at least one more segment, at the very least. Especially if they're they're free rolling. Free wheeling, I guess. That sounds weirdly tacky. Yeah, so th this'll fit. It just looks a little bit cramped, but uh, it works for what I want to do here, I think. Okay, there we go. Because the nice part is the uh, overall superstructure is going to be out of the way. So let's 
Let's see if these tires do what I, I want them to do. No conflicts. So yeah, there's a little bit of bumpage. Uh, but it's okay. And the other thing is they don't even need to go out as far as they do. Let's try bringing it back like 30 degrees. Maybe a little bit low. I'll just do 45 for the time being. There we go. Minimal bumpage gives us plenty of room. Okay. So now let's take a look at this design. So I want to bring this probably back down 45. Let's have this go 90. Let's have it go a little bit more than 90. Let's have this go a little bit less. There we go. And let's have this go 180. Maybe a little bit more than 180. Okay. So if we look at this, and we press this button. I'm probably going to have two sets of bearings here just for extra stability. We'll figure that out in a second. Let's, um, let's make the ultra heavy uh, situation for a second and see... Does this do what it, what I need it to do along the way? Because if we're lucky, it, it'll do exactly what we need. Okay, take the, make sure it's off the lift. Okay. So for starters, we need to do a couple of things. Bring it back a bit. So the problem is it grinds awkwardly. Uh, that's kind of a no-good situation. So for starters... Um... Let's actually get rid of this and this. We want... We want it to even start as soon as here. And let's grab a light block. We want it here. And then I'll just put the switch on top. Okay, here we go. So last one. Switch. And then let's... Can I re-weld it while it's still in, in the way? I, it won't let me. Worth a shot. And now we're running into collision issues. Okay. I'll just... Be interesting. I bring it out this far and it... It doesn't like it. That doesn't bode well for the future. Okay. So this is hooked out. So we want this... So we want six to... Okay, so I'm going to move these over. Because we're probably going to need to move them all over. But i got to figure out exactly where and when and who and how and whatever. This is going to be a multi-parter if I ever did see one. Okay, so we're going to just have this go 45. Nope. Okay. So, I dig the 45. We pretty much need to have it go negative 45 as soon as the rest unfurls. So let's try this. Okay. Except for it needs to actually go further than negative 45. It needs to go down one more. And then three needs to go a little bit further too. Okay, so what this does, looking at this, is um, it it gives us a wide area to work for, uh, 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 you know, to put the clamshell and stuff. And I could even potentially bring it in as necessary. The only problem is I'm going to have to flip this entire design. Though actually that's very, that's going to require very minimal work. Because all I have to do, well, I mean, I could even have the, um, I, I could even have the, the secondary bearing set 
to file out here. Uh, but the problem is, as somebody very astutely pointed out uh, in the comments, programming mirror mode would be hard. Yeah, not terribly surprised about that, honestly, but still. Okay. I mean, luckily, all I have to do is cut parts of this off and flip it around. Really, just this. Um, so why don't we why don't we try this? My only worry is that it's not going to weld together properly. I'm gonna have to delete so much shit from my workshop. It's not even funny. Okay, so let's do another one of these. And I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to pop a bearing here. And we're going to weld this here. And it works perfectly. Obviously, I'm going to have to reprogram the entire thing. But I'm going to call it a success, even though it's not fully there yet. Okay, the other thing is we could actually um, put these all programmatically into the same set. Uh, here's the question. Can I just weld them together right now? Yes! Oh, that is such a... such an encouraging thing. I'm halfway tempted to actually have it mirrored on both sides so we do have some stability, but I'll think about that in a second. Alright. So, we need it to be... So the 245s are good. So it's 45, 135, 195. Obviously, I don't even know. I am assuming these bearing rotations are no good. Alright, so we want it to go 45 and then negative 60. I think. Okay. Watch the fireworks. Okay. So we have obvious problems. One. No, it needs to be down like that. This needs to be up. That's a problem. That is a prabble. Okay, let's try that again. We're getting the bearing rotations correct. It just needs to not bungle itself. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. Uh, the the final the final bearing is also causing problems. So this one. Um, let's see. One, two. Skip to the. There we go. So the only problem is we have to wait for the tires to come down, and hopefully they will have no problems. There it is. Okay. Uh, so technically, if I had a suspension glitch on this, which it could fit on actually pretty easily, uh, considering this, we would actually be able to drive this thing around. It looks a little goofy, and obviously a little spidery. Yeah, I'm just going to stand in the middle. I want to see what happens. Oh, that's perfect. I mean, we do actually... How oh, do we... We might even have room for the suspension glitch, like, right here... No. These tires are in the way. Okay, that's a problem. Because, yeah, I can actually have, like, a line going down down the center here. But... But with those tires, it makes it a little bit harder-ish. Maybe not. Maybe it is doable. Okay, let's, let's try. Trying to decide how we're supposed to... Oh, there we go. Thank you. Let's try low collision blocks uh, for the start. Just so we really don't run into any, any collision issues. That'll make this easier. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if I undo, if I undo that, let me do this. Uh oh. I bungled it. All right, let's delete these, and let's unfold this again. So yeah. Okay, so for starters, we need to get. Oh. Okay. 
So I need to get rid of these for a little bit longer. We need more low collision blocks. Just these two, I think. And then I think we're good. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we don't have to worry about this. Okay, let's get rid of these bearings. Put these here. One, two. I'll figure out how to get an engine in here. I think I know. I think we've got some places. In fact, they might actually be way easier to find than uh, than I expect. Okay, so we need we need we need suspensions. We don't need wheels. Okay, then light blocks. Then light blocks. All right. Now I'm gonna undo this for a second. I'm just gonna stand in the middle. Let's make sure this fits, and let's see if we have enough space. It's a long wait time before the remaining wheels. Okay. So the answer is yes and no. Let's see if I can fit the um. Let's see if I can fit some surface panels in here. Alternatively, I don't even need surface panels. I just need these. Technically, I don't need these blocks. Any any will do. It's just these look a bit slicker. There we go. And then if I curve these in for no other reason than my own vanity... Then we've got a functional suspen uh, suspension glitch in here for turning. Okay. Um, wait, hold, hold the phone. Oh, we have, we still have Brabble. Okay. So I'm gonna delete that. Forgot, it. forgot, went one too far. Okay. I guess I'm gonna delete these. Let's try that again. I mean, I'm glad I used low collision blocks for this, but still. Okay, so... I don't think I need these low pipe bl blocks here. What if I just do this? Just about the same, but without the issues. Okay, let's expand it out so I can delete these spare bearings. Okay, there we go. Yeah, unfortunately it makes the, the beetle-ish body look a little odd. But I don't think I have much of a choice on this matter. Okay, and then I'm going to put an invisible engine and an invisible seat in here. So, well, maybe not an invisible engine. I guess it's technically visible, it's a block. Okay, there we go. Well, far less time and already a hell of a lot more progress than the first section here. Let's try. Wow, this thing turns. Then again, it's got a very wide center of... I'm gonna say center of mass. Uh, it's, it's, it's spread very wide. Unfortunately, it's going to be very backflippy, so we're gonna have to consider that. But yeah, all things considered, we actually have a fairly functional, if stupid looking, uh, turtle car. Well, I don't know what to call it. We still gotta figure out how to get the uh, top clamshell on. Honestly, I think what I might have it do. Uh oh. Oh. I think what I'll have it do is, um. I think what I'll have it do. Wow. That's some torque. I might want to consider having some kind of locking mechanism uh, in the back just so it doesn't split apart as much as it does. Because this this turning, like, is forcing the two bottoms out. But yeah, I think what I'll do is actually have the, uh, the top and bottom split apart in much the same way, but expand down and forward. So we have two more sets of wheels in there. Um, but that would allow it to... Um, have forward and backwards braces. I mean, I'm, I'm already pretty satisfied with this thing. It's dumb, 
And like I said, we do have to figure out how to get the, the wheel mechanism, well, not the wheel mechanisms, uh, the mechanism for rolling in here, which is probably just going to be some thrusters. Uh, but as it stands, I don't know. This is going to be cool. All right, one more episode left, and I think we're good. So I'll just uh, do what, what programming I need to do. I mean, honestly, I'm probably just going to cut this thing up and rotate it 90 degrees and go from there. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just uh, do that, and then we'll give it some test runs and do whatever. Really not a whole lot of uh, use for this kind of thing, but it's kind of a fun uh, It's a fun little experiment to mess around with. I might also put some nubbles Yeah, here, you know what? I'm gonna do the nubbles real quick um, We're gonna paint the bottom. I Don't know what color we're gonna paint this thing. Let's go green It doesn't need to be green it just feels right if it's green um, but I'm just going to put some spikes on it. Is there an enemy that does this in a video game? I, sh I should think about it. I mean, there's like the, the turtle shells from uh, from Mario, but I think that's a little different. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it, or I'll just keep it green. I've noticed I don't really paint my creations, and I definitely should. Uh, let's see. And for those of you wondering, when, when are we going to be doing multiplayer again? The answer is probably Sunday night, so I guess, is that tomorrow night? I think that is tomorrow night. We might be filming uh, multiplayer stuff, uh, but it might take up until Monday. I don't know. Effectively, I just film solo to fill content, because otherwise you guys don't get an episode of Scrap Mechanic. And at that point, everybody is sad, as opposed to those of you that cannot, cannot apparently stand me playing on my own. Okay, there we go. This looks good. Right, nubbles, 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 nubbles. Nubbles are just super simple. Uh, it's a good example. And kind of these. One and a half. Ah, here we go. Perfect. I'll probably get some more in. Uh, the reason why I want these these nubbins on the corner is so um, it has the least amount of possible surface area touching the ground at any given time. Uh, the reason for that is lag, effectively. Keeps everything from being super laggy. And I think if I had if I had a choice in the future, I'd uh, replace the piping and just make it uh, nothing but low collision blocks the entire way through. But at this point, I'm mostly interested in just making it functional. Maybe another day. Anyway, gonna finish painting this. Cause yeah, if I'm gonna be mirroring this. We might as well have a lot of the parts pre-painted, right? Seems like a good idea. And maybe I'll get rid of some of the other things. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's getting green. I like it. And maybe I'll have the guys uh, do like a transforming car race. Where everybody has to make a, a car that transforms. Uh, for, you know, alternating legs of the race. That'd be cool. I think we'd have fun with that. Let's get rid of these. And we're good. Oh, nope. And now we're good. I'm trying to be ginger here so I don't delete anything more than I need to. Alright, well, I guess with this, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic. Uh, solo or multiplayer, I cannot tell you. Holy crap. Something is very unhappy here. Well... I guess I'm just going to save it as the, uh... Okay, we're going to save it as the half shell, and we'll go from there. Okay, yeah. Like I was saying, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.